The holiday season is fast approaching and I am giving you, my fellow friends and libraries, a gift this season. We're going to talk about why it might be good for your library to take a break from social media. I know. We're going to get into it in this episode of the Library Marketing Show. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. If you head there, there's a tab called the Library Marketing Show where you can ask a question for a future episode, or you can nominate a library you've seen doing great work in marketing for a Kudos Award, which we're going to give away in a few moments. Before we do that, I always ask this, but please bear with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on LinkedIn. That way you'll never miss an episode. And be sure to let me know what you think of today's episode down in the comments. I have a feeling there's going to be some strong opinions after we talk about social media for your library. Should your library take a break from social media? I think there are some benefits to it. So let's talk about it. In particular, number one, I just want to say I don't actually think you should take a break from all social media channels, but there is a benefit to stopping posting on one or more channels for a short period of, of time. Here are the benefits. Number one, it gives you five seconds to reevaluate where your library is are the posts that you're creating for your library, are they actually working? Are you getting people to comment, to come to programs, to check out items? Or are you fulfilling whatever goal it is that you have for your social media? And you can't do that when you're constantly trying to keep up with feeding the content beast. So giving yourself some space to really evaluate what's going on with a platform and whether you need to change direction with that that is a huge benefit of stopping posting on social media for a short time. Also, it really gives you, when you come, if you decide to come back on, on that social media platform, it gives you a chance to kind of renew your message, renew your brand. Your library has a brand, it has a voice, it has a look, it has a tone, and it gives you a chance to kind of reintroduce yourself. I don't have any, any specific data evidence of this, but I truly think that brands that have stopped posting for a short amount of time and then start posting again, they get a little boost from the algorithm because the social media platform goes, oh, these people are posting again. They've come back. We want them to feel welcome and to have some success. So they give you a little boost in your organic reach. That can be really helpful, especially if you've reevaluated what you want to do on that platform. And number three, I think it really gives you the people who are doing the social media for your library, a break mentally, your work schedule gets a little bit of a break. You can reevaluate what, how much do I want to post on this platform and when, and what kinds of guardrails am I going to put on my own personal view of what's happening on the library social media accounts so that those posts and people commenting don't impact my mental health. I am a big fan of taking a little break. So I'm curious if anyone watching this video has done this, how long did your library take a break? Which platform or platforms did you take a break from? And what was the outcome? Did you decide to even go back to posting? I know a lot of people have taken a break from Twitter slash X. I would love to hear your um, experience about that. And I'm sure the viewers will too. Let us know down in the comments. Okay, it's time for kudos, and our kudos today goes to the Harford County Public Library, which received an American In-House Design Award from New York City-based Graphic Design USA for the design of the graphics on its traveling library outreach vehicles, aka its bookmobiles. They're really super cute. I'm going to put a link to an article talking about this award down in the show description. If you're watching on YouTube, the comments, if you're watching on LinkedIn, this is the third time Harford County Public Library has gotten this award since 2018. It is really awesome. Congratulations, Harford County Public Library. Okay, that's it for today's episode, but my channel is full of other tips for library marketing. If you're interested in learning more, click on the next video and I'll see you there.